What is up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. Super excited about this video guys. It's going to be all about the latest jailbreak exploit for iOS 11. Now if you guys actually saw my poll last week, I asked you guys what you wanted my next video to be about and you guys all chose the jailbreak update. So super excited to be making this video today and we did get some good news. So let's jump into all of the details of the latest jailbreak exploit release for iOS 11. So before I begin about the details guys, if you have not been receiving my videos in the subscription feed, go ahead and click the bell button down there below the video. For some reason YouTube hates me and it's not actually pushing out my videos guys so definitely click that bell button you will be notified when I push out a new video and that'll just really help and support me guys and I really don't want you guys to miss my videos so definitely check that out click the bell button anyway moving into the jailbreak exploit so if you guys don't know who Ian Beer is he is a developer and a hacker that actually works for Google and he actually released the iOS 11 jailbreak exploit that he found to the public on his Twitter here so I have his Twitter pulled up here guys and as you guys can see he posted two tweets today and the first one was actually the the iOS 11.1.2 jailbreak exploit itself. Basically, Ian Beer has found a way to use a security exploit to jailbreak the iPhone on iOS 11. Now, just so I'm clear, guys, this is not the actual jailbreak. This is just an exploit that can be used to jailbreak the device. So if you guys remember iOS 10, when the jailbreak was released, Ian Beer actually was the one to release the jailbreak exploit for iOS 10 as well. And Luca Tedesco actually took that exploit and made it into a publicly usable jailbreak using the mock portal exploit. So Ian Beer really released the major step towards jailbreaking the device. Luca Tedesco was the one who made it officially public in usable form. So the great news here is that Ian Beer has once again released an exploit that can be used to jailbreak iOS 11. So it really is just a matter of time before we see someone actually compiling the jailbreak into a usable form for us to jailbreak our iOS 11 devices. Now Ian Beer also actually posted some of his research. He said that using this exploit, it should be possible to jailbreak the iPhone 7, 6S, and iPod Touch 6G. Those were the devices he tested. And he also said it should be easy to add more support to other devices. Now, I expect this jailbreak to actually work with 64-bit devices, which is the modern devices like the iPhone 10, iPhone 7, iPhone 6S. If you do have an older device when the jailbreak is released, it probably will not work with iOS 11 anyway, let alone, I don't know why you would want to jailbreak it. It probably will not work on 32-bit devices, unfortunately. So it will just be 64-bit devices. And again, it will work on all his devices he listed here on his Twitter on iOS 11.1. Point two. So a couple things to mention here, guys, a couple future steps. Basically, we have to wait and see if the jailbreak will be compiled and released by someone. This is not the real jailbreak. This is just the exploit that Ian Beer released. I do expect someone like Luca Tedesco or another developer to actually take this and make it into a publicly usable jailbreak. Now, I don't know when that will be. I don't know who will do it, but I do expect someone to do that now that we have the exploit itself out in the public, which is very, very exciting news, guys. Now, also, if you are on iOS 11.1.2, you will be able to jailbreak. If you are on iOS 11.2 though, you probably should downgrade if you do care about the jailbreak. I do have a guide on how to downgrade your device on my channel. I'll put a link in the video right now for you guys to check out. Definitely downgrade from iOS 11.2 if you do care about jailbreaking to iOS 11.1.2. The process is really easy. You just have to download the 11.1.2 firmware to your computer and then go ahead and restore to that firmware using DFU mode. So I will link the link to my video on downgrading in the video right now, but definitely go ahead and downgrade if you do care about jailbreaking as this is very exciting news. So again, thank you to Ian Beer for releasing this. This was actually just released today, the jailbreak exploit. So I'm really excited. I will keep you guys updated on when the public jailbreak is released. I do expect it to be very, very soon over the next couple weeks or maybe the next couple months when someone actually goes ahead and compiles this into a publicly usable jailbreak. Of course, I'm not sure how stable it will be, but I'll keep you guys updated and I will let you guys know any other news I hear about the jailbreak in the coming days and months. So be sure to subscribe and like I said, click the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will also list all my social media down there in the description. So be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, and my website page. Also check out some of my other videos, guys. But as always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more on the jailbreak, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay awesome. Peace.